Welcome back to Fitzgerald Fieldhouse here at the University of Pittsburgh, getting ready for action at 157 with defending national champ at 149, Gregor Gillespie. And uh, we've got a very special guest, Bruce Baumgartner, uh, one of the great, great wrestlers in this uh, great heritage that we have here in Pennsylvania. Bruce, welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Great to be here. Well, you got one of your big guys there, uh, Gregor Gillespie, uh, with the fans that are about to see him for the first time. What makes him so special? Well, I think he's really quick, uh, agile on his feet, and, and his best position is really top. And, and in college today, that's kind of rare, but his best position is getting on top of a guy and turning him. No doubt. Uh, well, what a job that uh, Tim Flynn has done. Edinburgh, you guys are 15th in the country. Uh, you're the athletic director there. We got started. You have to be delighted the way things are going. Uh, I think, you know, a team title, it looks like we're going to be able to pull that off. And, uh, you know, Tim Flynn's just an outstanding coach. We have great support from our administration and uh, be able to, to win on a consistent level. So, Bruce, tell me, uh, you made the transition from, from wrestling to coaching and then coaching to athletic director. Um, you got a preference, I'm sure, somewhere along the line. What do you miss about, you miss anything about being out there on the mat yourself? Well, you know, I'm too old to be out on the mat myself. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in the coaching, you really miss the, the guys of it. You know, the, the, the coaching, the interaction you have with the wrestlers. Uh, but, you know, athletic administration is a great profession. I enjoy it a lot. And um, still be able to follow a lot of sports and a lot of, you know, both the men and the women's sports. Well, Bruce, I know you've got a lot of uh, pressing issues around uh, the uh, venue area. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Bruce, great to be here. Bruce Baumgartner, everybody, uh, joining us as we're uh, moving through here in this opening period. There you look at Matt Moley right there out of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, Springford High School, NCAA qualifier a year ago, went 2-2, two and two, sophomore, and I believe a third-place finisher a year ago. So he is a handful. This is not the walkthrough everybody that came here tonight thinks it's going to be. Gillespie's favorite, don't get me wrong, oh, yes. but Moley's ready. Well, and like I said, Moley was losing in the, in the semifinal match. Um, gave up a couple of takedowns and then came back, made the match close, and ended up with a fall uh, to win. And obviously any time uh, Wade Chalice once said, if when I'm on top and they slap the mat, I win. So that's one of the things, wrestling, boxing, match can end at any moment. And... Uh, it was very he did a nice job of that in the semifinals to get here to this finals match against Gillespie. So, you know, Gregor's going to be pretty good. Uh, he's going to be good on top. He's going to put a lot of pressure on on Moby and, and uh, nice, deep, tight waist. And Moby just really working hard to base out so he doesn't get get tilted on that side. Well, Moly won by fall over highly regarded Zach Freiling of West Virginia at 557. In the semifinals, he got a first-round bye. Gillespie has had a tough road. A highly, again, a really good wrestler from Pitt. Matt Corker, uh, you know, is Gillespie on a decision 5-2, but that was on fire late into the third period. Well, and you know, and I, I think that's one of the things that, that's happened with Gregor over some period of time. People have gotten used to the style that he has. You know, if you're a guy that's successful, all of a sudden coaches are watching tapes and they're saying, hey, you know what, these are the things we need to do to at least slow somebody like that down so that we have a chance to keep the, the match close, keep the score close, so at the end maybe we can get a takedown here or there and pull one out. So uh, what he's faced over some period of time, and, and a lot of guys who are successful, this is what happens is people try to slow the match down, keep the match close, um, and, and hope to sneak one out at the end. So, And I, that tests your patience, because if you're used to scoring matches, you're used to going at, at a certain pace, and now all of a sudden everybody's trying to slow you down all the time, you have to make that adjustment mentally, and uh, Gregor's been able to do that pretty well this year. Well, last year, when you go back to Gillespie, won the championship over Josh Torella of Michigan. It was a number three seed, three to one, in overtime. But the one that got everybody, and I, you know, I talked to some friends who were at that last year, and they say that the buzz in the building when he knocked off number one seed, Dustin Schlater, three to two. Hi, that was the stunner right there. Well, you get a chance to see this guy. He's so good, as we mentioned from the top, and you can watch him go to work. This is nice front headlock. He just pulls him forward and keeps working himself around the corner, and you know. The thing that people, I think, forget about, all these guys who are really good are very fundamentally, technically very sound. They do not make a lot of mistakes. They stay in good position. They do the simple things really, really well. 
you know, we get enamored by the scrambles and all that kind of stuff, but the reality is they do the basic things really, really very well, and that was just a basic takedown, a front headlock, pull them forward, work around the corner, get yourself a two-point takedown. shot. Well, we mentioned Moley is an NCAA qualifier in his own right and obviously as if you're joining us if you make the final you go to the final you go to the NCAA. If you can finish one through eight you are considered an All-American. Gillespie did better than that. He won the whole shebang last year. Went through a four a three and a one seed to get the gold medal last year. Well, but Moly gonna... is a really good looking sophomore prospect for Bloomsburg. Well, if you wanna you wanna be the guy who's considered the best, you've got to beat the best people. And and this is a chance for Moly here to uh, to do just that with Gregor Gillespie. And, and that's what Gillespie did last year at the NCAA tournament to get himself into the finals and win. So again, one of the things you watch, Moly staying pretty pretty compact, pretty closed, not not moving a whole heck of a lot, trying to make Gillespie come to him. And uh, Gillespie does a pretty good job. There's a warning for stalling for Gillespie. Well, you can hear the building. You know, they, they always go for the underdog. And this is what you've got to deal with if you're Gregor Gillespie. I mean, when you go into the house, you are the fluorescent target. And it has been that way since day one of 07 and 08. Well, not only is he the defending national champ, but he is wrestling for Edinburgh. And, and they're the top team in the league. So people, people want to see you. I'd like to see you lose. Uh, you know, uh, you always make those kind of analogies related to the press sometimes, right? Like to build them up and then like to tear them down. Well, people like to see somebody be successful, and then they like to see somebody come in and, and another person be successful. And now, uh, one of the things that happened at the end of that period was Moley almost did a really dumb thing and got himself on his back, you know, desperation kind of thing. He figured, oh, I'll try this right at the end of the period. You miscalculate that slightly. You're giving yourself up a takedown and a near fall. Well, you can't doze off at the wheel against a guy like this, or he's just going to go good, right through good. there, as you aptly pointed out. Well, the head coach of Bloomsburg is uh, John Stutzman, Buffalo University grad, well connected in that part, good wrestling country in upstate New York. Moly here is a homegrown product, District 2 up in Springford High School, which is near Bloomsburg in that area. Well, I, I think, you know, that area of Pennsylvania, and, and like you said, you get in that Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York area, there are a lot of very high-quality wrestlers there. And, and uh, that's one of the things that, uh, you know, the Bloomsburgs uh, have been able to try to capitalize on over the years. And, and the competition for great wrestlers just gets more and more intense as the time goes on. Oh, oh nice, nice shot. There we go. He's spinning. Moly. He's got himself a takedown, two-point takedown. That brings the crowd in now. He's only down one. The defending national champ last year at 149, wrestling this year at 157, has got his hands full. All eyes are on the center of the ring here. Well, and, and there's the thing. Moley takes that shot again, and not a very good shot. Kind of forced it a little bit, and Gillespie makes him pay. And, you know, one of the things that... You know, you're talking about a defending national champion. One of the things that Gregor could improve on is some of those offensive things, some of those shots that uh, to him initiate some offense in those ways because he sometimes becomes a little reliant on, on other people shooting at him. But once he gets on top, he is so tough up there. Not only just riding people, but he turns people consistently. Well, he's also got two minutes and 12 seconds of riding time sitting in the bank, too. But... Regardless, Matt Moley has nothing to be ashamed of. He was in this thing the whole way. Two mistakes, four points difference in the match. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's a defending national champion. Two mistakes, four points, and that's the match. That's what happens when you're wrestling against people that are really, really good. Um, and it's not like you go out there trying to make mistakes. You, you can't be afraid to do that kind of stuff. But the thing is, he certainly didn't force Gillespie to make too many mistakes. Well, we're going to return with action at 165. 